Are Chompies just big bombs? I, I don't know. Are they dogs? Because... Mushroom they are definitely dog-like. Um, my wife's in the corner not making a lot of noise, but she has a strong affinity for Chompa. the boos and the chomps. Well, yeah, yeah, but they're cute and they make barky noises. What am I doing? There's no way oh, no! Pick me up, by the way. No, I know. <laughs> Sounds like we're talking to nobody. Let's go... By the way, for your money, this is the easiest one in the game. Not even close. Uh, no, that would be Princess Peach's secret slide. Oh, are we gonna fight? Secret slide. Yeah. Eh. Uh, you see, when I was when I was a wee a wee kid, I wasn't the smartest. Uh, anything. The, the a small is, child. A small child. Uh, I I I did have this. And I like to think that I was good at it. Well, I had friends who, uh, I had friends who, uh, like, they would fight and claw to get to the first or second Bowser, and after you would beat it, you would go, "Wait, there's like a like two thirds of the game left." Yeah. <clears throat> well, I just I never got to 120 stars. Did you ever beat the game as a kid? Yeah. Fuck. I'm so good. But I never completed it. Um, like. Like the magic star here, where you have to shoot yourself out of a cannon yeah, into that's, the wall. Yeah, that's uh, that's hairy. That was pretty obscure, mm -hmm. and I never got that one. Land it, land it! Oh my <laughs> god! Wasting <sighs> to never got his time. You are. You really, you really are. No. This is <laughs> I'm sorry. terrific. This is busting your. your I'm all chaps. about. I'm all about self-loving. What are you Jewish? Land. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just... This was... The long jump was a tad more difficult when it wasn't a finger button on top. It was a, mm -hmm. a trigger. And because I can do it, I feel like I should do it at every available opportunity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eh, bye. <laughs> See you later, dude. Bye. <laughs> so, as a kid, I was... <laughs> Man, I got some stuff going on. So, oh, oh. it makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles. We pave your roads and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. We interrupt this episode of Mars when we're bringing Mike Rose dirty job. <laughs> 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 I just, I like... your roads. I, that's messed up. Like, okay, when I, growing up, don't get up. Growing up, I didn't know what Japan was. Yeah, yeah. For, so, so I, I assume, oh, cool new American game. Uh, this is imported to Hell and Back, and yeah. I, oh, yeah. I don't know what that means, but. Well, it, it means it, that they sent it to Hell, and then Hell <laughs> was like, we're going to make more of this, and then they sent it back to us. Okay, but they, they, they tried their best to remove the culturalization and to normalize it for a North American audience. Yeah, and when yeah, there's yeah. not a lot of dialogue, uh, that's an easy thing to do, but they left in this, like, weird Japanese parable about uh, be careful of your sidewalks. <sighs> yeah, I mean, Mario I mean, it's has... nice. It's not like I hate it, but... Eh. Well, it's not only that, but there actually is a monster in Japan that looks like that. Okay, I need more information. Um... Uh, it, it's... it's... No, I, I'm paraphrasing from what I know, which isn't a whole lot. Mm -hmm. God damn it! God damn it! Wow, John. <sighs> um, so from what I know, it is literally a monster that is a wall that stops you from going places until you starve. <laughs> so like, that—that's its whole goal. Is you walk down the street and uh, <laughs> there's just a wall in the road. And you're like, oh, it's not that funny. Why? Why is there a wall here? So mm -hmm. you, you go the other way, and then the wall is there instead because it followed you. That's and... spooky. Yeah. Is I it mean, big or just a wall? It's it's huge, and it's made out of flesh, not stone. For real? Yeah, it's a giant flesh wall. <gasps> I did that on purpose. You freaking <laughs> wizard. You freaking wizard man. I, I can't. I can't even. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> oh! Uh, my goal here is not to die. We're going for something else. Just, I can't deal right now. Where are you? 
<laughs> Open the cannon for me. Open the cannon. Uh, I need to shoot this Italian man out of a cannon in uh -huh. order to make myself feel fulfilled in life. Yeah. I'm about ready to freaking tape the Z button down because this is getting out of control. Wait, 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 wait. Can, can, you, can you give me a little picture of that guy right there? Oh, no. Oh, hang angry. on, hang on. Calm down. I just want to say good night, Leafy. Sleep well. Now kill him, now kill him, kill him, kill him while he's sleeping. Yes! <laughs> You're dead! Okay, <laughs> sorry. Oh, my. Come on. So, I, actually, uh, I like to consider myself a cryptozoologist. At least an amateur one. Me You're a fan I... of animals that solve riddles? Yes, but not quite. Okay. Uh, animals that don't exist. Give an example for the people at <laughs> home. Uh, Bigfoot. Okay. The swamp monster. Uh, Nessie. Obscure Japanese monsters. Werewolves. Yes! Uh. Is it Wikipedia time? Yeah, it's Wikipedia time. I'll be here. Let's see if I can even begin to pronounce this. <laughs> Looks like Nero Kebi? Nero Kabi? Nordy Kabi. Um. Manifests as a wall that impedes the Mr. X travelers at night. Trying to go in the wall, around the wall is futile because it extends itself infinitely. Knocking on the lower part of the wall will make it disappear. It is suggested that the legend was created to explain why, lo why travelers lose their bearings on long journeys. <laughs> but, I mean, look at that, look at that shit. Oh no! It's like Falcor. It's like... Meets... <laughs> Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of different things in my life I don't really need. It's it's like an elephant naked mole rat thing. You are just the master of sentences. <laughs> no, it's eh, don't don't Okay, Japanese we're good. These monsters are great. There's there's a Japanese monster with uh, an eyeball in its butt, and that's just fantastic. <laughs> Well, when you have to teach mythology to children now, you gotta have to cut down on the eyeballs and the butts. <laughs> and the whole thing was like, hey, uh, why can't you see me? Well, you see, I see out of my ass. <laughs> Where am I going? I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of just zoning you out. Oh, that's great. This. I'm glad to know that we invited you, our guest, into our home. Look at that. <laughs> oh, 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 goodness. You ever think that's just like them? Shit. Wow. That joke's, that joke's a little racy. <laughs> oh, don't know. I understand where you were. Eh. You could. You would welcome it. I can't even right now. <laughs> eh. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> you got it. You can breathe again. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I am serene. I am. Don't cool. with this. You know, you you don't always have to long jump. I do. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> Eh. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Actually, I I didn't consider this. Stop. I have to fall anyway. Eh, maybe. There it goes. There it goes. Eh. There you go. I am no longer disappointed in you. Great no. job. Great job. Six. That was a great show, by the way, Tim and Eric. Tim and Eric. Yeah. Well, here's. Tim and Eric has an extremely specific audience, mm -hmm, and if mm -hmm. you're not a fan, you're not a there's fan. no coming yeah. back. I did like Tom Goes to the Mayor, though, mm -hmm. because I am a huge fan of just, like, sadly, <laughs> real-life sadness. That's my jam. That's your jam? 
I just I'm this like... close to buying like Requiem for a Dream on Blu-ray. <laughs> I've never seen that. It's really good. Oh, it's very sad. I, I, my wife watched it with me once, and that story ends with, no, it's the best movie I probably won't watch again. <laughs> and, oh my god. Wow, you just stabilized it. Good I'm job. working on it. I'm working on it. You know, as a fat Italian plumber. There you go. That's good stuff. I can, I can understand why he'd want to walk across these, uh, what I assume are... Flying hostess brownies. There you go. <laughs> Does that not remind you of like those special cutout brownies? These things? The, the, specifically that arrow over there that, that looks arrow? like a brownie. Uh. With green frosting. In the sense that it's three dimensional. I. I did not eat a lot of brownies as a kid. Ooh, it shows. <laughs> In our outward appearances. In our outward appearances. <laughs> I ate all the brownies. Thank you.